Hello and welcome to another episode of Stuff You Should Know in Durham. I'm your host, Gary Williams, Director of Corporate Communications. And today I'm joined by Sue Siopis. She is a Commissioner of a Works Department. Sue, how are you today? Pretty good, Gary. How about you? I'm great, thanks. Excellent. So to, today we're talking about anaerobic digestion, and that is a mouthful, and I will be completely honest. I didn't know anything about anaerobic digestion until I started with the region, but I know a lot about it, and I'm sure you are almost an expert on anaerobic digestion, right, Sue? Well, luckily we do have some experts here at the region because I wouldn't call myself an expert, absolutely, but we certainly do have people that are have uh, developed careers around this. Absolutely, it's, it's, fa it's a fascinating uh, topic to talk about. So let's get right into it. So I know at the region, um, we're just in the planning stages of uh, developing the, the new project that involves mixed waste pre-sort and anaerobic digestion. Sorry, it's a mouthful to get out there. Yeah, it is. That's why often we say AD. <laughs> AD, exactly. It's much easier to say. Um, why don't you begin to talk about um, a little more about mixed waste pre-sort and AD? What does that mean? What is that? Well, first, if you don't mind, I would jump in and say um, we're probably beyond the planning stages, just so... Okay audience knows. Um, we actually have approvals in place from Council for the project, for the technology, um, and for the location of the facility. Um, so we're, I'd say we're well into planning and perhaps beyond that. We are out to market right now actually looking for options on design, build, operate, and maintain. So, so the project's coming along very nicely. So to get to your question about what is mixed waste pre-sort and AD, um, Basically, it's a process where a black garbage bag shows up on, um, on the floor of the pre-sort facility. It gets ripped open and we remove everything from that black bag that can be diverted from disposal. And by that, I mean things that can be recycled, uh, organic material, and we divert all of that uh, material from the disposal options that we have available to us, which of course is our incinerator, the energy from waste facility, um, or landfill when, when we need that capacity. So very interesting technology and very interesting process. Is, is anybody else doing or, or running a, an AD facility in Canada or, or US? It's, it's really the first time I've ever heard about it. Maybe you can uh, talk about that a little bit. Certainly. Um, so anaerobic digestion is quite common in, in Europe and it has been for many years. In North America, there are more facilities popping up all the time. Um, for example, the city of Toronto has two large facilities right within the city um, that have been operating for quite a few years now, as, as does other locations both in Ontario and across North America. So it, it is tried and true technology. Um, we're adding the, the mixed waste pre-sort on the front of the AD process, and, and I'll get into description of AD itself in a moment, but we're adding that onto the front of the process, which is unusual um, in North America. You don't see that here. In fact, we will likely be one of the first facilities, if not the first, to have a fully integrated system. That's amazing. And can you talk a little bit about the... I'm picturing the, the the black bag showing up at the facilities, and is it ripped open by you know human beings? Is it is it machines? Maybe if you can walk a little more about walk through a little more about the specifics on actually how it happens. Uh, certainly. So right now, black bags from a, that are collected throughout the region of Durham um, are trucked into what is currently our energy from waste facility. Um, and they're, they come in in haulers, they're, they're tipped onto a floor and, and dealt with. This will be a step immediately before that. Those same haulers will come into an enclosed um, uh, building so that we don't have odors escaping and things like that. Fully enclosed, just like at the EFW right now, they will unload and mechanical sorters will rip open these bags, pull out anything that's metal, recyclable, uh, organic, all through through a process. And then for further refinement of the actual organic material, the material will be, go into the AD 
part of the process where everything that can be digested biologically will be uh, digested and go towards the organic stream. So all of those materials are being pulled out of these bags um, and therefore not going to an incinerator or to landfill. Unbelievable. It, it, it amazes me actually that this can be done with uh, technology today. Now, I know from the pre-sorting of garbage and it's creating renewable natural gas. It's, Why is this a benefit and what, what can some of this gas be used for? Well, um, the, the gas, the renewable natural gas that will come out of the end of this process um, can be utilized just like natural gas that is currently uh, mined through, you know, virgin natural gas through uh, all the processes that you hear about. So there, there are no limitations about what this natural gas can be used for. But of course, the the plus is it's it's renewable natural gas. It's it's a resource coming from our garbage that we can now use to power up um, whatever facilities or or uh, systems we want. It also is very um, valuable and can be sold to the grid. Is this really the the future of 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 garbage collection? Is is are we on the the cusp of of starting uh, a new way to collect and and um you know, divert from, from landfills? Um, your, your phrase, are we on the cusp of it? I would say we are. We, we are leading in, in this direction. The City of Toronto is already doing some of what we're, we're proposing to do here. But again, the adding the mixed waste pre-sort on the beginning of this process is, is brand new. And we are searching out the best technologies for the AD process and the cleanup of the uh, biogas that comes out of the AD process and can be used as renewable natural gas. That's that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So let's let's switch gears. Let's talk a little bit about myth busting because there's been some uh, questions and comments about this this new facility. So one was, you know, the increase is there going to be increase in traffic as you have these trucks coming into the facility? What can you talk to uh, tell us about that? Well, like I mentioned a moment ago, the trucks are already going to the energy from waste facility. The black bags are already arriving there. So. I'm uh, approximately two dozen trucks a day go to the EFW currently. Mm -hmm. We have a private haul road that goes in behind. So when the trucks come off the highway, they go straight onto our haul road and to the south of the facility. So we're not on the, the neighborhood roads, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll be using exactly the same route and the same process. The difference is the trucks will now enter the pre-sort facility first and then the ultimately the garbage that is less left for disposal will go right next door um, to the EFW. Uh, so, so no, we won't be introducing a whole lot more traffic. We anticipate potentially two more trucks per day. Okay, wow, all right. Mm -hmm. And are we accepting garbage or, or you know, stuff from Toronto or surrounding areas or is this just solely Durham region? Everything that goes through the mixed waste pre-sort and the anaerobic digestion process will be garbage that is generated here in the region of Durham. Uh, we are not planning to accept garbage from outside of the region of Durham. Great, and another uh, myth and question we get a, a lot is around the smell. And of course, obviously you're dealing with organics. Everybody knows their compost uh, bins sometimes uh, has quite the order. How are we controlling those? Is it going to generate more odors? What what can you tell us about that? Um, I thank you. That's a really good question because you're right. That one comes up over and over. Mm -hmm. So with the existing facilities that are in Toronto, in Europe, there's another one in Elmira. Um, these were all, they, every one of those facilities went through the, the, uh, the notion of being odor creators. They are not. You can go and stand outside these facilities and you cannot smell what's happening inside. There's a couple reasons for that. First of all, people confuse AD, anaerobic digestion, with aerobic digestion. Aerobic digestion is the big compost fields that you'll, you'll see. And, and we have them in Ontario and they are very smelly. If they're managed properly and turned regularly, they're not as smelly, but they do smell just like the compost bin as, as you pointed out. Um, our facility will be operated under negative pressure at all times and have biofilters in place to be able to remove anything that would, any type of odor before we uh, emit 
to the outside environment. And, and again, it, it's tried and true. Um, it, the, the processes are already in place. We're not going to be testing new technology to get rid of odors here. It's already been done. Uh, that's unbelievable. It's, uh, I wish we had those for our organic bins in our houses because okay. as you know, they, they can uh, generate some odors. That's right. That's great, Sue. This is all fascinating. Where can people find more information about AD and, and maybe, um, you know, we, I know we have some FAQs on our website. Is that is that the best place to go? Well, our, our website is the best place to go. We, we work very hard to keep it up to date, mm -hmm. uh, not only on information about technology and so on, but on our progress so that everyone can take a look at where we are, where the project stands and what we're doing. Um, there has been most recently a link added to that um, that website that it, it's uh, an animated video that it shows what uh, anaerobic pre sort mixed waste pre sort and anaerobic digestion looks like how it works um, it's very well done i hope people will take the time to take a look at it i think even um, your kids might enjoy taking a look at it because of the way it's been done um, it, it's very simply explained mm -hmm. yeah that that video really helped me uh, understand it a little further because uh it's 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 a big word. It's it's something that people are probably not familiar with uh, hearing about. But once you see this video and read some of the information, it's really it's a fascinating um, technology and, and way to. And it really is the future. The future is here. Just so so people know, if you go on Durham.ca, let me check, make sure I get it right. Durham.ca uh, backslash capital A D project. So um, mm -hmm. that'll take you right to the link. And but if you go to our website for um, waste issues, generally speaking, you can get there too. That's great. One last question, Sue. When is this facility going to be up and running? Our goal is for uh, 2023 to be up and running. Um, there is legislation that has already um, been proposed with regard to the treatment of organics. So in some ways we are on a deadline um, to be able to uh, meet uh, that that legislation, the requirements of that legislation. And, and that will require that organics are managed differently than they are today. So we want to be prepared for that. But we also want to be doing the right thing here. Um, Durham has been a, a leader in waste management. We take pride in the fact that we are innovative, that we are monitoring our impacts on the environment. And so taking this step was a step we wanted to take anyway. Now that there's legislation coming into place, it, it seems that we're, we're absolutely on the right track. Well, that's great. It does sound like you're on the right track and, and kudos to you and the team that uh, has brought this to Durham Region because it's it's an unbelievable technology and something that's really going to help our environment in so many ways. So thank you for educating us today. Thank you for uh, speaking with us and teaching us all about AD. You're most welcome, Gary. Have a great day. You too, Sue. Thank you very much.